it's day 26 with Dorado, and I have switched him from the flat uh, webbed halter to now uh, he's in a rope halter to kind of help him with um, that shoulder dropping that he's doing. So previously, before I picked up the Cavaletti, I had um, already worked him um, doing some walk trot canter on the lunge, but unfortunately the framing of it didn't allow you guys to see very much, so I just kind of cut that out. So now I'm going to be working a little bit with the Cavaletti and um, getting him to walk around. And I always find it's good with the green horses for when I pick up things like poles and um, get them to see this, like here. Like he was fine with me picking up the pole horizontally, but when I turned it vertically, it was different. So getting him to look at it, take a sniff, and take the pressure away. And again. And that was pretty good. I'm getting him used to me walking around. In the left eye. And now moving him in the right side. And that's pretty good. Now I'm going to go take that pole back. Now I'm going to do a little bit of shoulder work, which that's getting really good. Yeah, good job, buddy. Much better from the other day when we had a little bit of our temper tantrum. So he's very funny kind of when he's learning new things. He gets frustrated and then that's where he gets a little bit... Um, angry so it's really important to try to break things down the steps but still he ends up getting a little frustrated with those but just a little bit of patience and um, coming back at it the next day and he always progresses by the inches so that's what makes it really rewarding is that it does it does stick so that's the promising thing so now I'm gonna pop on him and he's really good at sitting or standing still while I sit on him. So I'm trying to move around a little bit, you know, touch other things. He can, he tends to be a weird, sensitive horse. Like things can be moving around fine, but then you touch him just in the one spot and he gets a little goosey. So he still is just a little bit guarded. I try to give him the rubs. And he's moving to the left. You see, now he's pretty stiff still, so his tail is can get pretty tight and stiff. When he goes to move, it's a little bit better right there. So I'm trying to ask him to move a little forward. And all he wants to do is move a little sideways. Which that will be good one day, but for right now, I'm trying to get him to move forward. And... He's funny because what he'll do, like you saw there, he'll I'll, he'll go to go forward, but he'll feel like he's going to take off. So I have to give him a correction to slow him down or to stop. And then he thinks he needs to back up. So it's just trying to smooth out that communication. And because he was a little stuck, I'm now going to move him, you know, move his feet a little bit more. Moving him around that Cavaletti. And he's much better now in the rope halter. He's um, not trying to pop that shoulder away. And he jumped the Cavaletti pretty well. And so now I've asked my working student, Britt, to come down to help me a little bit to see if we can get him to move forward because I was just getting a little stuck. So I have her connect with him, give him a rub on his forehead, and now I'm bumping him with my feet. And he knows to follow. But he still is hesitant. Again, this is me trying to convince Dorado that this is a good idea. He would just assume to go back to his stall. <laughs> so there we go. We can get a little bit forward movement, which is it's all pretty good. I'm able to bump him with my legs to get him to go forward. 
and this whole time we actually have a drone above us so there's a loud sound and he was actually handling that pretty well <laughs> and he's doing really well following Britt kind of helped him and then I asked him to stop I pushed my feet forward put a little pressure on the halter that was really good. And you'll see I still have the really long rope while I'm on him bareback. So that's if anything is to happen. I can still move him around and I have pl plenty of rope. So now I let Britt uh, work him. So this is the first time she's ever lunged him or done anything with him. So this is really good now because this is near the end of the session. And he's pretty relaxed. So... You'll see she's got a bit of the rope bunched up in her left hand, which he's used to that part being as I call it the tail. So um, he, he gets a little confused because she start, she goes to switch and she has a bunch of the rope in her directional hand, which that's normally in the, so he thinks he's supposed to go to the right or to the left, I'm sorry, when in fact he's supposed to go to the right. So then I get her to switch the rest of the tail of the rope into her left hand and then he understands quite clearly. I hope you guys can see that. So again, you kind of want your direction hand free. So her right hand is supposed to be free and to point and that's kind of the cue. So you see he's pretty hooked up pretty well. There's a nice slack in the rope. This will turn into a nice liberty circle. He's got his ear on her. So, And then she said his name. That was really good. And then this is to show you guys how um, the bath has improved. He's still a little funny about the air going through the um, hose, but um, it's improved tremendously since our bath. He's starting to relax. I say that as he's like jumping, but I sped it up for you guys so you can, um, again, it doesn't take so much time, but he's getting much, much better. Again, it's helpful with it being summertime because you can work on washing them off every day if they work up a good sweat. He's still a little um, guarded about his hind legs, but getting better. And then working on his face, he still kind of wants to come over me, and I have to give him a little bump on the halter, tell him to wait. And I just work on going down in front and if he learn he's getting better but I like to rub his face and then he'll learn to drop his head and let me wash his face pretty well and that was really good and it'll be really fun when he starts to really enjoy his face um, to get washed because he he enjoys it being rubbed so uh, he'll get there especially once he learns that it feels better so now um, Again, he's still a little flinchy, but I can start to move a little faster. Um, sweat scraping, I can do his belly now. I can now go towards the hind end and scrape that off. So all those things that are kind of like normal horse things that we want to be able to do. Um, kind of squeegee off his back leg. Again, go to the other side. And, that, and I'm trying to move pretty quickly, so it was a really good day for Dorado. Um, so he's moving right along.